It's at three, two, one. Here we go. Hopefully the audio stabilizes itself a little bit better. Pretty loud right now. But my official playthrough of Black Sad is starting now. It's a detective story rich game. Kind of reminds me of uh, Telltale Days. It's obviously, what, like a lion? Just gonna scream. Boy, interact with you similar controls to other games with its genre. Do you want to enable the tutorial? Yes, that way we know what we're doing at least. This game saves your progress automatically. Icon indicates the game is being saved. That's the cat's face. I'll turn it off your computer when you see this. It's best played with controller, huh? Uh, I could play with the controller. So it actually runs you through the settings first. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna at least try it out. If it's awkward playing on a mouse and keyboard, then we'll uh, plug in the controllers. Is this a new game? Yeah, yep. Uh, this is a sort of a shorter game. Um, before I start Metro, so I think that it's gonna be this is like one of the games that's been on my wish list for a while. It was on sale like a month ago, picked it up, and uh, so I'm looking to try Sometimes this out before I walk into my office, I get the before starting the Metro series. The ruins of a lost civilization, not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear, I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Uh, whoa. When talking with other characters, you get to choose both options or questions and answers. In some conversations, you can take all the time you need. In other, you need to think quickly and reply before your time is up. In these occasions, you can also choose to stay silent. Who are you? Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been... Is there a... All right, let's just check settings real quick. In this screen, you can do that. Okay. Let's see. Adjust the number of video settings as usually. You can also adjust sound, change the language. Okay. I want to put on... Uh, Meant to put on uh, basic settings, subtitles. There it is. Yes. Okay. Spying on me. You took pictures of me with a lady. <laughs> well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kill. <laughs> Every now and then you will have to act swiftly. Use WASD to move, uh, stay alert, and you may have a short window of time to move before it's too late. You! <laughs> At certain moments during the game, you will need quickly to indicate, uh, press the indicated button to perform specific actions sometimes. Press the button until the circle around it is complete. Okay. Let's tap space. <laughs> Throughout the game, you'll have to make decisions. Some of them will have minor, so like choosing whether to throw a punch or strike a headbutt. Be careful. Some decisions have a tr transcendental and have a major impact down the line. In some cases, you have all the time you need. Some you need to make them right before. Okay, let's see. It wasn't the first time I regretted hitting a guy like him. But at least I don't have time to aim at his soft spots. Uh, 
Oh, this isn't bad. It's like, it's literally like, uh, like playing a Telltale game. Oh, God. I almost messed up there. Oh, man. You broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't going to use it, man. I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer, either. It only happened once, for God's sake. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love... <laughs> all right, one second. It seems like the subtitles didn't go on, unless if they, for some reason they have to go on in a different screen. Oh. Yeah. Apply changes. There we go. Okay. Yes. I Looks like it's in the movies. God, yeah. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family there for we one go. tiny mistake. Breaking up your family? I don't think you need my help there, buddy. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures and tell her a white lie and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. There we go. There was I'll more be nice. than money at stake. The man seemed honest. The best I could do for his wife was to hide the truth, no matter how low it made me feel. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here before I regret it, pal. Ah, you're free to survive, but accepted the lot. Two. You're a good man, Blackside. One. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. He's going to do it. He's going to do it again anyways. First of all, so, a swollen hand. Sometimes it won't make a difference. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Why does it keep... What the heck? It keeps, like, closing out. Third, I was starting to second-guess the morality of my last choice. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Why is he holding the chair up like that? Uh, he's a nice guy. You. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you, and he's Jake, already old offering you a seat. <laughs> Right, of course. If that's me to a T. Please have a seat. Shut up and listen, buddy. All right. I brought you a client. It's very interesting the way. John Black Sad. Okay, so that's his name. Private Detective. Gotcha. Okay. It all makes sense now. Oh, I think she's the girl that saw the dude hanging in the gym. The time period's pretty cool. Famous actress Natalia Wolford murdered at home. <gasps> no. And that's why we need to find him soon, or we we will have a very serious problem. Mm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. <laughs> the bulldog. <laughs> Okay, so it's the dude on the left. Uh, tab to navigate through different hotspots and enter to select the hotspot you want to interact with. Okay. 
Okay, so let's... Bobby Yale. Bobby a Yale. Boxer at Dunn's gym has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. Wait, Manine so which one's which? Two days ago. Yes. Bobby Yale, promising boxer. Okay, so Bobby Yale is the one on the right. Your father, Joe Dunn. Joe Dunn. Boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. Dunn's daughter, Sonia Dunn. Okay. In short, Joe Dunn if died Bobby on Yale's Sunday no show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. Or by no. Sonia Dunn. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh, I see. Well, first of all. Are you sure your father killed himself? Your father took his life the same day his pupil disappeared. Yeah, it's so, sort of, it came out like a, something just doesn't add a, up. a few months Damn ago, John. I think. Will you take the case or not? Cast out. Uh, yeah, sure. I will, but we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. Except for the case pointing out the cost. All right. So it's off to an interesting start. Uh, we understand that it was Joe Dunn that supposedly killed himself, and she is the daughter of him, I think. Now we need to find Bobby Yale, who's this pit, pit bull dude. What is that? Billy's liquor. It's like the 40s or something. 40s or 50s. <laughs> Very interesting world, no doubt. But I'll search it myself at some point. Bobby Yale's address. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. Now this is and my first time, time playing this. See what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Okay, so Mary Fer Pernell found his body. She's the waitress. I guess. It's just like stuttering. Let me try putting it in back into uh, borderless mode. wonder if that'll maybe help a little bit. Also, we're on Ultra, so putting it to... Uh, or this might help too. Or lowering the quality, I mean. Okay. Try this. We're on the roof right now. Um. Helen Moore's secret. Champ Pie is the champion's energy. Interesting. 
Uh, wait. It means back. Telling me to play Overcooked 2. No thanks, Xbox, but thanks. Alright, I guess we'll go back down. I don't think we're supposed to come up here yet. Actually, we can look at the... Is that done? Wow. Done musician. Oh, here's the... I keep pressing escape. Thing is, gonna back out the picture. Okay. His body's not still here, is it? When he is and everything, but wanting to is. Oh my god, I did it again. It's gonna take me a little bit. <laughs> Just trying to get used to this. Alright, so they took his body down, but that's still there. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... Unhanged himself. Did he even reach it? He had to be pretty tall. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Of course it doesn't. Game's going to be interesting. Yeah, exactly. There's something fishy about Dunn's suicide. That's why I'm looking forward to it. It's a detective game. Mm. Okay. Oh, there's something on the floor. Box train if you want to win train harder. On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust, and it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died. Hmm. Who do the footprints belong to? Well, I actually get this thing. Yep, right there. Okay. Yes, it's pretty sturdy. A lot of, uh, No pain, no gain. No guts, no glory. A lot of quotes all over the place here. Oh, there's the paint. Okay, so it goes all the way back here. Okay. And then what about down? Oh. Hey, I got some questions, sir. Right, so good morning to you. Conductor, Union Railroad. John Blackside, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? The Not blind goat. Proceed, Your Honor. Were you here on Sunday afternoon? Yes, indeed, kind prince. I came down to watch TV after having run the New York City Marathon in record time. <coughs> Pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, just like life, that was short. <laughs> but then again, all things short fit me like a sock. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> But 
It just so thing. happens that you can, apple of my eye, do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. <laughs> All right. What's he got? Hmm. What's that? Keeps his suitcase closed. Hall of Fame, continue. Discourse of inequality. Oh, on inequality. Nothing else we can look at. It's another one right here. Okay. Continue. Can't go down the alley. All right, guess not. Oh, there's something right here, though. I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. Did I buy one? Intend to stay that way. If I had only taken that Ryan. Or I should money. buy one. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's keep walking down the street here. Anything down this alley? I don't see anything. It's stuttering a little bit, so I'm gonna bump down the uh, settings I have here. General quality, yeah, we'll just run ultra. Good said. I. Should help out a little bit. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks like it did. Anything here? Go back inside. Oh wow. Transitioned right inside. That's impressive. Okay. A bunch of quotes. I mean we can go talk to that dude again. Why is the camera hey camera? There we go. Wait, we can check the, uh, can we check the fridge? Oh, we can. Oh, there's something. Okay. How about the, uh, what is this? Weekly, no call. Rhinoceros, wife. Call the chief. Smirnoff. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. Better hiring me. I'm bound by. You know I'm bound by client detective confidentiality privileges. And you know I'm bound by law enforcement confidentiality. If you find anything relevant or start feeling a bit more talkative, give me a call. Always a pleasure, John. All right. Weekly. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big... horn. Uh, uh, uh... And the girl... <laughs> Damn! You want me to find out her name? Please. Pretty please. 
No, Wakely. Look. Just forget it for now. I only called to tell you that those photos are top class. Weekly knows you're hiding something. Yeah. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll call you. They hope so you get an inside scoop about the gym. All right. No call. All right, let's try talking to that dude again. Let's see if it helps. Hi, uh, how are you? Oh, yeah. You bring my bring my lunch? You hound. I mean, cat. Do you want anything in particular? Not in particular. Just something that fits in my mouth. Anything with cheese. Yeah, cheese. Lots of cheese. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find something on the street then. That we can buy and bring back to him. Ah, crap. Black Sad's a big dude. <laughs> Actually. Alright, can we go this way? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Maybe not. How about this way? That's our car. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I... Oh, God. Hey, watch where you're going, you jerk. Um, I'm not sure if it's only on you PC. You looking for trouble, moron? Oh. Sorry. Really, I'm sorry. You better be, you wuss. Uh, I have a feeling we'll see him again. I kind of wish it would it would have asked us if we wanted to go that way. I mean, I guess we'll be going back to the gym either way. But I didn't really question the girl in there. The diner. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Sure, but I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe Let's later? See. Please, I need to find Bobby Yale as soon as possible. And I think you can help me. All right. What can you, what tell, can you me? tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Okay. Any ideas you know where Sonia could be? How, how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. Oh, so she's the girl that? Oh, she's Mary Pernell. I didn't realize. What do you think about Jacob? Obs, what do you uh, think about Jake Ostiambi? Ostiambi. Who? <laughs> Who's that? A big gorilla, boxer too, a friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh yeah, I barely know him. 
I don't like how he looks at me. Can you tell me about your job? Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? Uh, at the gym. How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really Understandable. I'm sorry. About your job at the diner. Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Uh, do you work anywhere else? Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. I want to quit if I were you. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. He calls him Joey. And I have a hamburger. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Cheese. I think I'll get the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. We can give that to the, to the dude. Okay. No, Two. that's it. Okay. Okay. Is that for here? Sounds good, Chairman. To go, please. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay. Okay. Whoa, what is this? One? Wait, zoom? What the eyes? Okay. They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Ooh. Ears? Nose? Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. Oh, uh, it tells you which uh, thing he's using, I guess. There's something down here. Ah. It freeze? Her handwriting is nice and neat. Oh, I clicked on the other screen, that's why. Your burger is ready. Ah, shanks. <laughs> awesome. Takes him right to him. <laughs> All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. What? What? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> Just stay, wait for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for remembering the cheese, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <coughs> Who's the first person? Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Someone stood at the door? Okay. How about the uh, second? Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard then he threw something in the trash and walked back in oh no wait before that he gave me a coin a coin i mean do i look like i need spare change huh <laughs> i mean i'm staying at the million star hotel for god's sake <laughs> Verona. third person 
who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. Mm -hmm. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. <laughs> uh, what is this? So, we can use our ears. So what? Yeah, there's a cup. Keep clicking it out. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Okay. I wonder what it's like to be blind. Would I cope? There's two things you can look at, or at least that's what it seems like. That's just these two. I wonder what it's like to be blind. Would I cope? I think that's what it's trying to tell you. There's two things you can look at and it'll indicate. Oh, there's more. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Okay, there's one more. Let's see. It's not that. No. No, not that. Gotta be something else, right? Not that. We looked at his eyes. Thought we looked at his cup already. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. What else could there be? Looked at his legs. We looked at that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what else uh, we could look at. <sighs> the loading. The heck? Paint can. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. I found it right after the Cummins and Gowens. I wanted to see what those people were leaving behind. Chest expander? There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Mm. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. Seems saner than before. Strange before. But now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well... 
I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Let's see. All right, we can try one more time. Let's see. Sure, we, we've got it. It's something you can see with your eyes. So what can we see? See that. Leg. Blind and legless. How does he get by? That's another thing. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Okay. What am I missing? Can't figure out what I'm missing. Anything on his shirt? Is there a, uh, just curious. Okay. I don't know. I can see where it's dragging me to. All right, let's zoom out all the way. Okay, I want to see you zoom in there. I know it wants to, to zoom in right there. What's this? His hat? Could he have been a train conductor? Ah, that's what we are missing. Jeez. Wait, I don't know why it works. That's all for It's now. the black screen Thanks. when you hit escape. I think I'm going to try putting it back into full screen again. Uh, okay, there it is. Now I shouldn't be able okay, I can still move my mouse over to the other side. Alright, whatever. Can we see anything in the trash? No. Seems like it runs a little bit better in full screen, too. Okay. Let's go back upstairs and uh, chat with the the lady. Oh, there's a picture right here, too. Oh, that's not what I meant to look at. The uh, subtitles remind me of... Uh, what was that game called? Damn it. <laughs> uh, a Way Out. Which is a great game. Hey, come on. There we go. Look in here first. Before we go upstairs. Woo! Come on, dude, break it open. Hmm, locked. But a true detective never leaves home without his. Huh? Uh, sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. Damn. Not yet. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. <laughs> but this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome.
And we'll try this side. Farting is the key to success. <laughs> what? No dunk. Don't, no dung, no glory. Can we look at the uh, wall now? Seems like there's anything. Alright, let's check this one. Right, you should probably be knocking before opening all these. The harder you bang, the muckier you get. Alright, we'll go chat with them, and then we'll come back down and uh, see if we can get our lock picks to, to open that. Alright, saving. Yeah, next time, chat with the person first before going. Oh. Uh, I better leave these two alone. Oh, never mind. Okay, we'll go back downstairs. I guess we'll go get our lock picks then. Can we look at the board actually? Let's see. We can. Oh, and there's a card right here. A nice car. Sounds pretty nice too, actually. Phone's ringing. Who's calling? Hmm. I hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. Yeah, I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. Where are they at? Oh my god, dude, this is a mess. Like said, what are you the doing? The only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on. Remember. It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Still not ready for getting Talia. I think that's the girl in the newspaper. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? I love how the whisker has actually gotten in the way there. Alright, so there's nothing on the table there. Damn, there's a lot of stuff we can drink like every other detective. I pre pretend to drink. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Clients love stereotypes. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, <laughs> I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Ah, he wants me to check under the table. Okay. Police Commissioner Miss Colbert Donna Blacksad. Well, Donna Blacksad. Who this? Hello. Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. 
Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls... Well, he does sometimes. <laughs> You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I lit? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... a gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! <laughs> you earned it. Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. Yeah! That's why they're so cool! Oops! Mom's coming! Bye, Uncle John! Ray! Is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops. Love you, Uncle John. Now go put on your jacket. We're late. Bang, bang, bang! What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang! Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, I like this game. So far. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Love you, sis. And I love you, little brother. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> check the, uh, check the drawer. Actually. Sometimes I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. <laughs> Good old Weekly did oh. a fine job with these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Weekly took very explicit I pictures. I wonder if Lana would ever have the nerve to use it. Alright, check out this thing. <clears throat> You're gonna have to move the thing. Oh, come on, Black Side. You're strong. What? Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me? I Heavily armored. <laughs> At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Well, yeah, I would still carry the gun too, Black Side. Damn. I'll be back in no time. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has second thoughts about you. Bro, I'm coming back. All right, let's just go back. Leave. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. I'm expecting it to ramp up, probably, a good amount. So I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Okay. 
I have a feeling we're probably under I'm up talking to the dude on the steps outside. Bobby Yale home. So 